Counterfeit Currency What if I told you money is the root of all evil? This is often misquoted. The correct version is the love of money is the root of all that is evil. We could say it is the love of money and the perceived prosperity that comes with it that is the root of counterfeiting, and that is not a good thing. Counterfeit currency is a form of fraud. Money is produced without legal sanctions from the country from which the currency originates. The laws regarding the production, distribution, and passing of counterfeit currency vary by country. You should familiarize yourself with your bank's policies and procedures for handling counterfeit currency as well as the lessons in this course to learn how to detect counterfeits. Every year, millions of dollars in counterfeit currency are recovered globally. Interpol, a worldwide police organization with 190 member nations, works in cooperation with other countries to combat transnational crime involving counterfeit currency. Counterfeit currency not only poses a major threat to national economies, but also to financial institutions and consumers on a worldwide scale. As long as money has been around, counterfeiters have tried to fake it. Coin currency was first introduced in 600 BC, and since then, counterfeiting has remained a challenge. Coins were often counterfeited by using methods of mixing the base metals, then plating over that with gold or silver. So while a coin may have had a face value of a certain amount of gold or silver, the actual intrinsic value was much lower. Counterfeiters usually organized crime or individuals, diminish public confidence in currency through a mix of criminal activity involving economic, social, and legal elements. In a 2013 report issued by the Financial Action Task Force, FATF, an independent intergovernmental body that makes recommendations on global anti-money laundering and counter-terrorist financing stated, the United States and India have both reported that individual terrorists use counterfeit currency and distribute it through terrorist networks. The proceeds are invested to strengthen a terrorist support infrastructure and to finance individual attacks. Counterfeiting currency is attractive to the criminal element because it is highly lucrative and the risks are relatively low compared to other criminal activity such as drug trafficking. Counterfeiting also has an element of money laundering as criminal organizations need to find ways to wash the money to make it legitimate. Money laundering is a process in which the money that is obtained by illicit means via counterfeiting or other criminal activities, is obscured by means of attempting to erase the link between the money and the criminal activities. This is done by putting the money into circulation and receiving money in return that is not traceable to the illicit activities. Terrorist organizations use counterfeit currency to both fund their enterprises and undermine the value of the currency and thereby the economy of their target. Money laundering can involve many different methods such as purchase of insurance, properties, high-value commodities, the use of shadow companies and enterprises, offshore banking, or a combination of these. Another method is the use of genuine businesses with high cash turnover, such as restaurants. The easiest way to take money obtained illegally and make it legitimate without arousing too much suspicion is to deposit into a bank. This is where you come in. On average, banks reported detecting one counterfeit note for every 10,000 notes they handle. You are the first line of defense. By understanding the methods used to counterfeit currency and learning to detect counterfeits, you can ensure that counterfeits do not enter circulation. So, let's take a look at Chapter 2, Methods of Counterfeiting Currency.